Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I make videos about wife life, motherhood, and lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a stay-at-home mom Q&A. It is a homemaker tag that I was tagged by Brittany's Beautiful Chaos. So shout out to you, Brittany. Thank you so much for thinking of me during this Q&A. I'm so excited to answer these questions. I loved watching your video. If you guys have not already subscribed to Brittany's channel, I will leave a link down below so you can check out her channel. So yeah, today I'm excited about this little Q&A. I've never done a Q&A before on my channel. So if you guys like these style of videos, um, let me know in the comments. I am going to basically just read off the questions that I have here on my phone and um, I'm going to keep it real and honest with you guys. Um, little disclaimer here, I have only been a stay at home mom for pretty much the past year. It is really new to me, although I've been a mom for almost 11 years. I am just going to kind of share with you my thoughts on being a stay at home mom as it relates to me and my situation. Everyone's situation is different. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started with the first question. First question is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative about you staying home? Quick answer, no, not that I know of. I think most of my friends and family understand that whatever works for our family and whatever makes us happy um, is pretty much our business and our decision and I think they support us no matter what. So moving on to question number two, what are your favorite and least favorite parts about being a stay at home mom? So definitely say my favorite part about being a stay at home mom is aside from being able to spend more time with my kids, I feel like that's an obvious one. I love the freedom of just being able to have my own schedule. I can make do with my day how I want. And then my least favorite thing, I would say, although I love spending time with my children, um, I think when you have a job, a workplace that you have to leave your home, it does give you a little bit of an outlet to kind of get some adult time or you time or just a little break from your kids or just the chaos at home and so being a stay-at-home mom you don't get that as much um, so I would say that's probably my least favorite part okay moving on to question number three what are your favorite chores and least favorite chores hmm I would say that I enjoy folding laundry um, I don't necessarily like putting it away, <laughs> but I don't mind folding laundry. I think it gives me time to sit down, fold the laundry into piles, organize, and then I can pop on a show while I fold the laundry. I'm not running around the house or, you know, it's pretty simple, relaxing. So I would say folding laundry is probably my favorite. Least favorite is absolutely definitely cleaning the toilets <laughs> or just cleaning the bathrooms in general. I feel like I clean them constantly and they don't stay clean long enough <laughs> and it's just not fun. So that's probably my, my least favorite chore. Um, moving on to question number four. What time do you go to bed and what time do you wake up? So um, this varies. I would say the time we go to bed can vary between 10 p.m. and midnight and I know that sounds really late but for whatever reason that's just how it's been for our family my husband works until the afternoon and then he might take a nap or go for a run hang out a little bit mow the yard or whatever and then he has boxing and then after boxing we're having dinner and by the time we're done with dinner it's like eight nine o'clock and then we haven't even spent like any like quality time together so then we might watch a show or two and then you know it's 9 10 11 o'clock so and then what time do I wake up I have lately been setting my alarm for 8 or 8 30 in the morning um, I don't I'm not like a super super morning person but I definitely notice when I wake up at a decent hour um, and get some things done in the morning drink my coffee and all that then I'm way more productive that day and I just enjoy the day more so moving on to question number five do you play anything in the background while you are cooking or cleaning very easy yes I'm almost always watching YouTube I love watching 
all my channels that I follow. So we have a TV in our kitchen and um, when I'm doing the dishes, I'll pop it on. When I'm cooking dinner, I'll pop it on. Um, if, if, it, if it's not YouTube, it might be like whatever shows on that night, if it's Monday night. Sometimes I'll watch The Bachelor, uh, Bachelorette, or Teen Mom on Tuesdays, or you know, I have my shows. So I'm either probably watching YouTube or a show while I'm cooking and cleaning. Moving on to question number six. Do you get dressed most days or do you stay in your PJs? I will be honest, I definitely stay in my PJs. I don't know what it is, if it's just because when I worked for so long, I always had a specific un uniform that I had to throw on, so now that I have the freedom to just roll out of bed and stay that way, I have been doing that. Um, <clears throat> however, I will say on days like today where I actually get ready and put myself together and put a somewhat decent outfit on, I do feel better about myself and I do feel like I want to accomplish more. So that is one thing that I kind of want to work on moving forward is when I get up for the day, actually putting something on. Even if it's leggings, just get out of my sweatpants, put on something a little bit more ready for the day and then take on the day. Moving on, we have question number eight. What are the trouble zones in your house? I would say it can sometimes be our kitchen table, but definitely like our kitchen counter area, um, especially this one corner area, we just, it's kind of like the drop off zone. Um, I don't do any cooking on that side, I don't know if that's why that just becomes the, the drop off zone for lunch boxes, hats, bills, whatever it is. Um, if it's not that, then it's probably the kitchen table, that would probably be our, our trouble zones. Okay. Question number nine. Do you get distracted? Um, I'm not sure exactly what this means. Maybe do I get distracted like when I'm supposed to be getting things done around the house maybe? Um, yeah, sure, I totally do. <laughs> I might be in the middle of doing dishes and you have a three-year-old running up to you and, you know, crying for something or my son who is hungry every five minutes you know there's always distractions when you're trying to get stuff done but um you know i try to look at them as little blessings and one day i'm not going to have these distractions so i try to appreciate them now while i can question number 10 do you enjoy staying at home or do you miss work um i think you guys can tell already i definitely enjoy staying home i Again, love the freedom. I love this time that I get to spend with my children. I did enjoy going to work. I did enjoy the people that I worked with. I enjoyed the work that I did um, through all of the jobs that I had. And I'm very thankful for all those experiences. And of course, I do miss some things about them. Like I said, the interaction with other adults and just other people in general. And I mean, I do miss aspects of work, but I absolutely love this stage in my life and I love that I'm able to stay home. Okay, question number 11. What is your never-ending chore? Um, like everybody, dishes and laundry. We have five people in this house and we eat at home a lot. Um, so we have never-ending dishes and never-ending laundry. Question number 12. What is your way of having me time? Um, I think I've made it clear. I love to watch my shows or YouTube videos. So I think just you know, taking time to watch those, drinking my coffee, that right there is definitely my me time. Um, occasionally I'll go get my nails done. Um, so that's been really nice to have that time lately. Question number 13. How often and how does your husband chip in? So my husband, I would say more so on the weekends he chips in. Um, because he does work a lot during the week and like I said he has boxing in the evenings and I completely understand there's really no like more like room for him to chip in or time or energy um, so on the weekends he's definitely more willing to like sweep and sweep for the floors um, he definitely takes care of all the yard work so he's always the one mowing and weed cutting and um, all that good stuff so yeah I would say on the weekends and mostly yard work, um, occasionally floors and stuff like that. 
Oh, he also takes out the trash. That's his job. He takes out the trash. Brings it back in. So, yeah. I think he does a good enough job helping out. All right, we're gonna move to question number 14. When do you do your chores and do you find it hard to keep up with them? Yes, I find it hard to keep up with them. I wish I was just this Cinderella perfect housewife, but I'm not, I'm sorry, okay? Um, I do my chores like when I can, when I'm motivated to do them, when I see that they really need to be done. You know, it just varies. I don't have a specific schedule. If the dishes are full in the sink, I'm gonna do them. If we're running out of laundry or, you know, the baskets are filling up, we're gonna do the laundry. Um, if the floor needs swept, we're gonna sweep the floor, you know? And it might even go a day or two. It just depends. We might have a lot going on, so I don't have a specific routine, but I just do the best that I can, and I'm sure you guys can understand and relate. Moving on to question number 15. What is your favorite room and why? This one's kind of tough because we just moved back into our home recently and so we have been slowly like giving each room a little makeover and just slowly like decorating and making our spaces the way that we want them. Um, but I do love um, how our front living room is coming together and how our bedroom is coming together um, but also I just love those are the two places I spend the most time in so I think that is how I would answer this question we have question number 16 what's your favorite cleaning product um, this one is pretty easy. I would say Mrs. Myers, like multi-surface spray comes to mind. Um, that's my favorite cleaning spray when I just want to wipe everything down. I just love, I don't know, I love the spray bottle. I love all the different scents and I also love how, it, how well the product works. So Mrs. Myers would be my favorite cleaning product. Okay, number 17, what is your least favorite room in the house? I would say it's kind of a toss-up it's weird because our basement is like finished we have a, um, a projector screen we have black leather couches like kind of like movie room vibes basically it's like a movie theater down there um, but I never want to go and sit over there and watch a movie like I would rather be cuddled in bed or like I said upstairs in that living room so I don't spend a lot of time over there, even though, you know, it's pretty nice. Okay, question number 18. Do you feel your home reflects your personal style? This one's kind of hard because, again, we just moved back recently. So we are slowly trying to make our home how we want it. Um, I feel like it takes so long and money, so much money. And um, we have so many rooms and just a lot going on all the time. So it's hard to really focus on our house and getting it the way we want it. But slowly but surely, we'll get there. I would say though it does um, because like I said, we are making it how we want it. Um, when we moved back in, we repainted everything. So we have um, lots of white walls, which I love white walls and neutral color furniture and decor. Um, I'm not huge on like a lot of color, so um, that's kind of like the vibe throughout our house. Lots of whites, browns, grays, tans, creams, things like that. So um, yeah, I would say it does reflect our style. Okay, we're almost done. We have two more questions. Question number 19, what does your home smell like? Uh, I saw this question before I did this, thought it was so funny. Um, well, besides cat, dog, three kids, husband, <laughs> um, no. I mean, yes, but no. I mean, it smells, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it has a distinctive smell. I don't have one scent that I have always running through the house. Um, occasionally I'll have wallflowers plugged in. Occasionally I'll have candles lit. Um, it depends on the season for the different scents, but yeah. It's hard to keep your house smelling really good when you have a big family. <laughs> okay, last question. We have question number 20. What are your strong points and weak points when it comes to homemaking? Hmm, that's a good one. That's 
let's start with my weak point because I'll be honest like homemaking I have to work at it okay I have to work at homemaking because I feel like <laughs> I clean and it doesn't stay clean long enough and then it's overwhelming for me I would say that's my weak point is just learning and understanding like I just have to keep on top of it and it's never going to end and try not to get overwhelmed. Um, I would say my strong point would probably be cooking. I actually really enjoy cooking. I've taught myself how to cook over the years and I love trying new things. I'm making new recipes every week. I meal prep for my husband and I every week so we always have like a healthy meal um, like packed away ready to go in the fridge. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say that's probably my strong point of home homemaking. But yeah, that is all the questions, guys. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Like I said, I've never done a Q&A before. And if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. I would love to know what else, what other kind of content you guys would like to see from me. Um, I was just recently sick for a couple weeks. I'm still kind of getting over it. And I was glad to finally be able to jump in front of the camera again and hang out with you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys like to see from me in the future um, so I can pump out some fun videos for you guys. But I'm so happy that you were here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.